Hello everybody, welcome back to Planet X News. It is June 10th, 2017. I apologize for the audio problems on this video. I had to go ahead and re-upload it. But ladies and gentlemen, what we're looking at here is a situation, once again, you're not seeing too much of this in the mainstream media. This is dealing with Hanford, Washington, radioactive plutonium particles were now airborne at Hanford. Alpha contamination confirmed. Now, you know, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't been following this story, this has been going on for several weeks. Uh, this was an old ammunition dump. This is operated by the United States Department of Energy, and this is their Hanford, Washington site. It states that contamination has now spread to outside of the demolition zone at the Hanford site in Washington state. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is beginning to sound like our own little Fukushima right here in the state of Washington. Now, you're not hearing too much about this on mainstream media simply because U.S. politics has precedence over emergency situations like this. And yes, I am being facetious. It states that officials at Hanford say the low-level contamination has been detected on sidewalks and a vehicle and a vehicle gate and also an area where workers keep their protective breathing equipment. Now, right here is a report by Dabu7 and he's on YouTube. I'll leave a link to this video. And this is just absolutely very eye-opening, ladies and gentlemen. If you live anywhere in this area, I'm sure you're heeding caution, you know, as we speak. It says that this is a heads up for anyone downwind of this site. The air monitors did go off and they have released workers from the facility. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this transpired maybe a few hours ago. Uh, this is definitely a situation. If you live anywhere in that area, I would definitely heed caution. But let's let's listen to the video report from Dabu Seven. This is Dabu Seven. An update to the situation at the Hanford site. This is really important. What's going on here? I know a lot of people have been distracted by the whole Comey show, but. This seems to happen all too often when the mainstream media has people's attention over here and we have other events going on that they're just trying to keep really on the hush-hush. Now, the cat's out of the bag on this one, but what they're trying to say is that it's, once again, low levels. They're not giving any readings, any numbers, or anything. This is the same site that had a hole open up exposing underground radiated stuff that had been there for decades to open air. We caught them on radio. Radio went back and forth talking about a radiation release, gathering the numbers. They never released that. They've since thrown a tarp up over the region. This is the same place that has two tanks, outer shell tanks, that are leaking. One has been known. The other was discovered here recently when they sent a robot up into the area, came back, and it was contaminated. They're trying, they try to downplay that today at a demolition site. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link to Dabu 7's report on Hanford. And he's been on top of Hanford since the very beginning. Uh, very, very good reporting. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, this seems like this is brewing into a nightmare. A Fukushima right here in the homeland of the United States. Carelessness. That's basically what it is. Uh, I'm going to leave a link to this article. And um, I would definitely follow what's going on in Hanford. And apparently, it seems like the cover-up is beginning. And now they're trying to fix this, this hole. Spewing radioactivity, plutonium, particles, airborne. They're trying to seal it up with an adhesive. An adhesive. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. United States Department of Energy. Look at the sign. They don't take care of the sign to warn people of this facility. Now you know why the facility is leaking and potentially 
going to create a massive disaster if something isn't done. Follow this story, ladies and gentlemen. Follow Hanford. This is Scott from Planet X News. Thank you for watching.